Miss Dior Cherie by Christian Dior does not have a serious bone in her body. Look at her, hanging on a bunch of balloons, floating all over Paris. People can look right up her skirt. And does she care? Hell no. Miss Dior Cherie is all about the tangy strawberry and a very cleaned up, unearthy patchouli. There's no real development here, just strawberries hanging out with G-rated patchouli, passing the sugar bowl back and forth. This Eau de Parfum is sweet, but it has a light feel too. The official notes include caramel popcorn, and I don't know about that, but there is a kind of starchy heat to this that feels Popcorn-ish, ish. The people who love Miss Dior Cherie would sell their firstborn Bratz dolls for it. The people who don't like Miss Dior Cherie really kind of hate it. They say it smells like kitty cat pee pee. Me ow. Now I'm not part of the cat pee crowd, but anyone who watches my reviews knows that generally, fruity florals don't exactly butter my muffin, personally. Having said that, Miss Dior Cherie is well-built, runs smoothly, and has a surprisingly clean dry down. I like it a lot better than Lola by Marc Jacobs, which also hits that sweet berry floral musky intersection, but with a lot less finesse. The word bludgeoning comes to mind. If I were in the market for a flirty fruity floral, try saying that five times fast, I'd go for another Miss, Miss Charming by Juliet Has a Gun. Miss Charming is so pretty. It's a little sensual and it's playful without being childish. But sometimes you just want a hit of strawberry pixie sticks in your perfume. And that's when you reach for Miss Dior Cherie. I'm interested to hear how you feel about this fragrance because it really divides the fume heads. Let me know in the comments section. I'm Miss Katie Cherie and I smell. Trisha was number five